Hey guys, what is up? Sean Murphy here, back with another YouTube video. In this video, we'll be doing a psychology experiment on whether psychological suggestion can influence the way we people can taste things. So, let's get right into it. How we're gonna test this aim is a while ago, me and my friends, we found out that this vanilla Sprite from Mac is the frozen one. Like, when you taste it, feels like it keeps changing flavors and what we would do like we bought three of them for all three of us and we'd have a sip we'd be like oh my gosh the flavor changes so and so and everyone else would taste the same flavor obviously that seems kind of impractical so we thought there's something to do with psychology some suggestion psychological suggestion so yeah we're gonna be testing this aim using this exact same vanilla frozen sprite oh hey I forgot to mention that our hypothesis for this experiment is that if we do use some sort of psychological suggestion to influence how one tastes something, it will actually work. So, let's see. Alright, so the first experiment that we're going to do is we're going to dye each of these, um, the clear vanilla drinks, a different color, which will hopefully have a psychological effect on the participants to make them believe that the vanilla drink is a different flavor that it isn't actually based on the color. So yeah, let's see that now. Right. So the first color we wanted to make was purple. So what we did was we mixed the red and the blue food coloring. This doesn't really look that purple, but hey, let's see if science actually works. Alright, so we have finished mixing everything. As you can see, this is our brown one, which is meant to throw them off to think it's sort of a chocolate flavor, possibly Coke. This is our attempt at... That's supposed to be... <laughs> That's supposed to be purple. Alright, they're only going to see it through the lid, so... Don't worry about it. And this was meant to be green, but instead of mixing blue and yellow, we mixed yellow and red. So... Yeah, this is just something that we don't feel is necessary to turn back on, so we'll see. Hopefully it still throws them off somehow. What is yeah. your name? So, Mr. What, what is your name? Magano. Do you consent to do this experiment? No. Fuck. Nah, yeah. <laughs> he does, alright? Don't, don't listen. Alright, so, what you have to do, okay, in this order from right to left, okay, what your job is to be, is going to be, is you're going to have to drink as much as you can, you get one sip, alright? One, you can't have multiple things, alright? One try at each, alright? So, alright? <laughs> and then, you have to tell us what the first flavor that comes to mind. What do you think the flavor is? Wait, these are strictly from Mac and you guys didn't do anything to it, yeah? No, they're all from, from Then why is a straw put it like this? Because <laughs> <You're, laughs> <'cause laughs> I, I was drinking from that one and I used the spoon. <laughs> the spoon straw. Oh, shut up, alright, go on. Alright, that's enough. Put it down. Put it down. What flavor? Yeah, slosh it around. What here flavor? Now. Write this down. Write this down. Vanilla Coke? Vanilla Coke? Alright, he says vanilla Coke. Right, second not one. Tell you. Yeah, second one. Second try. Raspberry. raspberry. All right, next. Oh, that's like a, a Coke and raspberry mix. Coke and raspberry mix. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's that's Coke. 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 Right, just go, just go. That's coconut. Coconut? coconut. Alright. That's raspberry. Raspberry? Blueberry. Blueberry, yep. Tastes the same. Both blue blueberry. Yeah, both blueberry. Alright, cool. 
Vanilla, all right. Wait, 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 no, you can only have one, everything oh, one. that's the same thing, bro. All right, so vanilla. vanilla. Nah, nah, hey, nah. What do you think that one is? I think this one's vanilla. This is some other shit. No, you change that? That's, that's the first flavor that comes to mind. So, both vanilla. Both vanilla. Yeah, that's both what you're going both. with. Okay. Still the same as well. So that's a raspberry? Yeah. Okay. Alright, thank you. That's it. Alright, so now that that experiment is done, um, the first thing we noticed is that none of the three participants picked up on the fact that all four of the drinks were in reality just the same flavor. Um, and for the drink with no food coloring, the non tampered one, two people thought that this was a vanilla flavor and one person thought it was a coconut flavor, which are all to do with white. Um, for the red drink, all three of them actually thought it was raspberry flavor. For the brown drink, um, one person thought it was a coke and raspberry mix, one person thought it was a blueberry, and one person thought it was a vanilla. So there's not that many consistencies of that one. And for the purple one, one person thought it was coke, one person thought it was blueberry, and one person thought it was raspberry. Alright, so it's a new day, time for a new experiment. In this experiment, what we're going to be doing is we're going to pretend like we're playing a little game with our participants. So, they're going to wear the blindfold, we're going to give them this drink over and over again, but we're going to pretend like we're swapping the drinks out and they have to guess the flavor. So, we'll see if they catch on that we're just giving them the same drink, or if they actually think that the flavors are different. This is your game, okay? You get five tries, alright? So, the first drink, alright? You have to actually, before I begin, okay, every time I give you a new thing, yeah. right, I'll say a flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna say flavors. If you think that the flavor I said is correct, you can just say yes. If you can give it a different flavor, you have to say no and say what flavor you think it is. Okay. Right? I also may or may not swap it out, so you have to try to try to think of what I'm doing, alright? See how many. So all I gotta right. do is guess the flavor. Basically. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. Right? And you can you can decide if you want to pay attention to what I what flavor I say. Right. So the okay. first drink, all right, is gonna be a grape flavor. Okay. There's a straw. Just one sip, one sip. Okay, that's enough. Do that. Is that grape? No. If what is no, it? What is it? Okay, I didn't like it. Um. Is it a frozen creaming soda? Frozen creaming soda. Next, I got it wrong. Next is citrus. Right, taking that back. That one was great. great. That was great. All right, that one was great. This is. All right. Maybe it was the same flavor. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. Maybe you are. Right. Final answer, we'll okay? Right, uh, okay? Next one is chocolate. Kind of a chocolate flavored drink. That's, yeah, that's enough. Is it chocolate? If not, what is it? I feel like it's the same flavor as last time. Is it grape? Yeah. Grape again. Next one is coconut. Coconut. It's a shit name. <laughs> That's what it is. That's enough. Okay. This one's not the same as last one. It's the same as the first one I had. So it's a lot more sugary. Um, probably a creaming soda. Creaming soda okay. again. So yeah, creaming but... soda, grape, grape, creaming soda. Yeah. Alright. Last one is vanilla. Oh. Shit. I forgot about vanilla flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you want to change anything? No, you can't. What? Oh, okay. You can't change anything. Is that vanilla? Yes or no? If not, That's not vanilla, but the one, the two I said creaming soda were vanilla. So what's this one? What's this one? Great color. The first flavor is grape. Yeah, I agree. Grape? Grape? Right. Next one. The next one is... Oh shit. No, I disagree. 
<laughs> I think that's vanilla Coke. Vanilla Coke. All right, interesting. Next, uh, next flavor is citrus. Definitely no. Okay, what, what do you think? Oh fuck! That one was vanilla Coke. The next one is chocolate. Okay, I don't do chocolate. That was quite nice. What do you think that one was? What's <laughs> vanilla Coke as well? I like this. Is coconut. Nah, they don't do that either. Um. Yeah, I'll give you coconut for that one. Coconut? There was no way that was coconut. Nah, that was vanilla Pepsi. Pepsi? Yeah, vanilla How vanilla is one Coke and one's Pepsi? Nah, 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 vanilla Coke, the one I've been saying all along. Tastes the same. And the last one is vanilla. Yeah, that's vanilla. It's a great flavor. Drink it. Great. <laughs> that's the blue one. Blueberry? Yeah. The next flavor is citrus. Very funny. That's vanilla coke. The next one is chocolate. That's still vanilla coke. Second last one is coconut. I think that's still vanilla coke. And the last one is vanilla. Yep, that's vanilla. So the results for this experiment were way more consistent than the last experiment. And the results go as follows. Our first participant thought the first one was frozen creaming soda. The second one he thought was grape. The third he thought was grape. The fourth he thought was creaming soda again. And the last he thought was grape. Our second participant actually caught on the fact that we were just using the same drink the whole time and he guessed, he guessed vanilla for all five drinks. So, well done Enki, let's all give an applause to Enki. Alright, our last, um, our last uh, participant thought that the first flavor was blueberry and then he thought the rest was vanilla. So he did not as good as Enki, but he did pretty good as well. So what can we see from these results? Well, from the first experiment, the results really varied, showing that color or sight has a big impact on how one tastes things. The psychological suggestion of color can influence it. Whereas in the second one, the only psychological suggestion was really just me telling them the flavor and hopefully they think that I'm swapping it out which didn't really appear to work um, but yeah now just for some general points of the experiment something that we'd like to improve on if this was to be attempted again is I'd say the food coloring part because as you can see as you saw from the purple color the brown color it didn't really work out as well the red one really did but yeah if we were to do this again, I think just trying to get a bit more vibrant colors, vibrant, like a vibrant green, a vibrant purple, just something to throw them off a bit more. Also, the fact that all of our participants knew that these drinks were coming from Maccas, so they already had a preset idea that um, the flavor of the drink was going to be one of the, whatever, the Fanta flavors that is offered at Maccas. So, yeah, if we were to do this again, Hopefully we could like try to conceal this fact by either <laughs> by either um yeah don't worry about that. Hopefully we can conceal this fact by maybe using a neutral cup or anything. But yeah, those are basically the main points. So in conclusion. What we can see is that psychological suggestion, especially through sight, has a big impact on how one tastes things. But before I wrap up this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my cameraman. Show yourself, buddy. So yeah, thank you Arian. And before you click away from this video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Alright, go. Oh, hey, forgot to mention the hypothesis. <laughs>